This is Hudson. How long until we have a lead on Perseus? They're about to get started. Adler's in West Berlin. He should be at the safe house soon. Do you trust him? <laughs> I'm not the one you should be asking, Black. What about his team? It's a strong group. He chased down Sims, Azalei, even pulled some strings to get Helen Park from MI6. We'll get them Mason and Woods soon. I'm not so sure about Park. She and Adler have that business from before. Of course he wants her there. And the new one. Well, well don't get me started. That's the one we need to keep our eyes on. Bell, welcome to West Berlin. We've got a job to do. Mark? Adler? Bell? Let's get started. There's been a surge in Russian chatter in the last 48 hours. The CIA and the DOD are tapping their inside sources for anything substantial. So far, there are no leads on Perseus. MI6 has come up empty-handed as well. And we'll have to start somewhere. So we're going back here. Vietnam, 1968. One of our closest encounters with Perseus. Shit. Some part of me always knew that mission wasn't done with us. Pull up everything we've got on the attack in Da Nang and run it past Park. She'll cross-reference it with MI6. We're looking for code names, encrypted transmission, Russian activity with NVA, anything that could be a lead. Got it. Bell, this is where you come in. Your MI6 experience helped our team back in Nam, and I'm counting on it once again. Head to the evidence board. We'll retrace our steps through Da Nang. Anything that could give us a lead on Perseus. That's it. Sims will pick up the rest for you. Thank you, Agent Azalei. Your medical supplies will be in the back room. How are things, Bell? Well, I'm keen to hear about your time in Indochina. So close to Perseus. Not nearly as much as I'd like. I have experience with others like Perseus. They're all chess players. I enjoy predicting the next move. You and I. Now that I think about it, I'm sure I've seen your face around Sentry House once or twice before. But these days, I'm seldom in London. In this case, quite. I understand you may have first-hand knowledge that could help us. It must be difficult, Bell. I can't claim to have experienced what you have. Perhaps going over it again could be... therapeutic. We'll talk again soon. I'm going to need to process some of these old negatives. You can hit that whenever you're ready. The dark room's mostly functional. Just waiting on a couple more deliveries to finish it up. A lot of this stuff's been sitting around for years. Well, you probably know more than me. I guess it's something the top brass wanted to keep to themselves. Working with the CIA over a decade. On their actual payroll? Going on about five years. I was born in D.C. Parents moved to Israel when I was a kid. Dual citizenship has its advantages. Yeah. 
I landed in an Israeli defense forces out of university. Did a tour there. After that, the Mossad. That's when I first started working with the CIA. And occasionally, our boss man Adler over there. Enough talk. Sims, heavy bag. Hell yeah. One sec. Bell, you're looking a little pale. You up for this? Good. You've just moved up on my favorite team member list. Right past Lazar. You probably crossed paths at MI6. Maybe you two have a special rapport. Keep it professional, Bell. A safe house? I've done time here before, years back. This go-round? Just a few days now. Ask Lazar, he can't get enough of safe houses. We've done some jobs together. Good guy, you'll like him. He keeps things light. It'd be good for Park to hear it from us firsthand. Maybe we have overlooked something. We're placing key intel up there, one for each mission, forming connections. I want a red line right to Perseus. Don't be a stranger. Right, Bell. We're going back to Vietnam. First time Perseus pinged our radar. It was late January 68. We were a joint CIA SOG task force embedded within the 3rd Marine Regiment near Da Nang. SOG was there to sniff out Soviet activity. Word had it Russian operatives were active in the region. Perseus had no known presence in Vietnam. That changed at Da Nang. Somehow Perseus knew about Operation Fracture Jaw. Fracture Jaw? That one sure went sideways. We launched out of Camp Haskins. Yeah, I'll never forget that shit. Good. We want those memories. No details too small. A face, a name. We're looking for anything that can lead us to Perseus. This feels like looking for a needle in a haystack. In a field of haystacks. Maybe, but that needle's somewhere. Remember, we had a job to do. Fracture jaw. That one sure went sideways. Bell, it's time to wake up. It's great time. Welcome to another day in the life of Camp Haskins, our little oasis in the middle of this godforsaken shitstorm. You're pretty safe here. Hey, Butcher. How's the arm? Still hurts like hell, but at least I can move it. Hey, 
Hey, Sims, you know reading that shit's gonna make you go blind. Yep. That's why I want it all up here. Bell, you're with Sims. You usually bring out the best in each other. We got a new assignment. FOB4 Ripcord is holding a vital asset that Charlie wants real bad. What kind of asset are we talking about? The kind you don't ask about. Ripcord has been taking a hell of a beating. So it's our job to secure the asset and get the fuck out. Relax, we got fast flyers providing combat air support for this mission. It'll be a walk in the park. Headsets on. All birds check in when ready. Badger Niner 1, good to go. Badger Niner 2, clear to go. Badger Niner 3, rotors up. All birds, go, go, go. Crank up and pull pitch. All birds are in the air. You all sitting comfortably? Oh man, Adler. Why do I get the feeling you about to give us some bad news? Because you're a smart guy, Sims. But the news isn't bad. In fact, it could be very, very good. The asset of Ripcord is going to have to wait a little while. We're breaking off from the Armada, taking a detour. And that's good because... A source tipped us off that there may be a heavy hitter in town. A Soviet operative known as Perseus. Oh, shit. Appreciate the enthusiasm, Sims. If our source is right, we could be looking at an Intel gold mine. First time Perseus pinged our radar. Approaching the village now. Yeah, roger that. Moving to establish an LZ. RPG! Talk two, let him up! There! In the bell tower! Bell. Let's do this. Your priority is securing any intel.
Everybody looking for a needle in a haystack. You hear that? It's on you, Bell. Open the door. Adler, we confirmed it. Soviets on site. You sure? Well, I'm staring at two bodies that sure as hell don't look Vietnamese to me. Bell, grab that comms log. Let's see who the fuck they've been talking to. Mission accomplished. We have the intel. Let's bug out. Good work. Hang on to that intel. We're coming in to pick you up. All right, let's go rejoin the Armada and get this fucking asset. Yeah, yeah, just hurry the fuck up already. Yes, sir. Thank you. 
Don't thank me! Thanks, Bell! They're the one who just snagged us a fucking phone book full of Soviet intel! Let's go! Now! Godspeed, Commander! A fucking nuke? Are you fucking kidding me, Adler? It's a failsafe, that's all you need to know. We that desperate already? Not yet. Somehow, Perseus knew. Sims! Bell, you okay? <sighs> We're okay! <laughs> Bell, let loose of that goddamn turret before we're overrun! We can call this a success, Sims. At least the nuke didn't go off. More importantly, we got intel on Perseus. Told, Told you we had a job to do. It ain't done yet, not by a long way. Yo. How did the memory exercise go? Well, to hear it from Adler, it's working. Bell remembered finding that encrypted intel in Vietnam and has almost finished decoding it. Anything useful in there? Some names, apparently. Possible leads. Park is trying to connect the dots. We don't have much time. Does the team know about our mishap in Berlin yet? No, but if it's connected to one of those names from Bell, they'll find out soon enough. You won't let that happen, Hudson. Don't say anything more than necessary. That's never been a problem for me. We finished analyzing the names Bell acquired at Da Nang. One in particular stands out. Anton Volkov. He's a Russian arms dealer working out of East Berlin. Admittedly, his connection to Perseus comes as a surprise. We've got killer capture orders on Volkov. So if we can't get to Perseus, we'll get to his men. Close off his resources, force him out of hiding. Mason and Woods are still wrapping up business in Kiev. Which means Volkov is ours. Gear up, and we'll move out. 